how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. You know, the react stream today, quite frankly, was dead. Like, we had tips on the pre-stream, or the podcast, I should say, and it was just like, dead, dead during the react stream. So any contributions tonight would be greatly appreciated. Essentially, it's like I'm only doing one stream today, pretty much, right now, <laughs> honestly. Um. The good news is that I do still get support from that channel. Like, the overall number of members that we have on DSP Reacts are still enough to support the channel and, and the effort of me to make content for it. But, yeah, it sucked doing an entire stream that was literally dead, no support at all. Um, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully tonight we'll at least get something going. Mark McCauley says, hint, hint. Dude, no hint, hint. I'm outright telling you I really would appreciate some help via tipping. <laughs> That's not a hint. That's saying, if you can, please help because it really sucked earlier today. It was so goddamn slow. One hit, 11 hearts. One hit, 11 hearts. Well, I guess we got it. Part of Gullbox says, do I think open world games have become uh, becoming too open world now there's a ton of superfluous content? Yeah, of course. I mean, we've been saying this for years, but this game is, I'm sorry, this is a prime example of it. Look what we're doing right now. This should have been five minutes. We are now 51 minutes into today's stream. <laughs> 51 minutes. We're still going. We're not done yet. Looks like it will, but guess how what? It takes forever. Look how long it takes. So, I guess I'll stretch. Oh my god. I'll stretch. I'll, oh. I mean, if you want to play this game, you gotta clear your, your schedule. You gotta clear your calendar. <laughs> it's the slowest moving game, man. Oh my god. <clears throat> Did it, it skipped a part. I don't even know why. It skipped that part right there. <laughs> I hate the fucking game. <laughs> well, that was great. Fucking piece of shit. So, what sucks is I can't get to this tower right now. And now the dragon's gonna be gone, or does it stay in this region? I don't get it. I really don't understand it. What's going on? Now Toko says, oh, you missed her. You have to cure the Deku tree. Fuck this game. No, I mean it. Fuck this game. You said just come right over here, so I did. Now I'm gonna miss it? Why? What did I do fucking wrong? I came right over here to do it. This game is fucking stupid. No, I don't want to do another side quest. I just did the fucking side quest to do it. Why the fuck do I have to do a second side quest? How about the Deku tree can kiss my fucking ass and I get the Master Sword? How am I taking forever? I went right here. I haven't unlocked the fucking region yet. How am I supposed to be faster? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> How am I supposed to be any faster? It's insanity what you're saying to me is insanity. How the fuck was I gonna be faster than that? I never even been here yet. <laughs> fuck this game. Man, really. It's getting to the point where I'd be like, what the fuck? Why do I wanna play it anymore? Yeah, I really wanna do another fucking side quest line, right? The king of hate. Hateful speech constantly. I'm Mr. Hateful Speech. Everyone knows that. We didn't have to do it. We didn't have to do We skipped it. We actually skipped the whole Deku Tree plotline by rushing. Thank you, Tub Tubs, for telling me about that. That's good. Anything to save time in this goddamn game. So let's save up. And like I said, next time we'll get the final memory, and then we'll head to Gerudo and continue there. And, uh, and go from there. All right, good stuff. Tonight is the slowest night I have seen for support in months. I don't know what's going on. This is ridiculous. And like I said, I re really need help right now in regards to tips to pay bills. Does that not really make sense from... If you're not playing the game, all right, from an outsider's perspective, just listen to that. He's almost 50 hours into the game and people are saying he's rushing through it. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see the dichotomy there? Do you see the disconnect? 
any other game, if you said, wow, someone's 58 hours or 48 hours or something in the game, wow, they really must be enjoying their game if they sunk that much time and effort into the playthrough. But for Zelda, it's like, that's not nearly enough. You should have done way more. And it's like, what? Like, why? Just because it's Zelda? Just because it's Nintendo? I don't get that. Because if it, the name Zelda wasn't in the title, I feel like I wouldn't be getting that criticism for the playthrough. It would be like, wow, you know, he's spending a lot of time on this. This is good. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I really do feel that way about the game. Now, here's the deal. And I'm going to say this again. I like Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I certainly wouldn't still be playing it. And I wouldn't be having it in my rotation if I didn't like it. Okay? But there's certain things I really like about it. There's some things I kind of like about it. And then there's some things that I really feel like are just, you know, not done well. Tips. Tips, tips, tips. So someone sent me a dollar and they're asking a ridiculous question. Like, what are you going to do? After, you, after you're after you done with YouTube and all of that because you don't have any 401k or retirement or anything. Well, first of all, you have no idea what I have, right? You don't. Um, you're assuming. I mean, I had no money when I had a bankruptcy three years ago. The good news is, you know, I'm hoping to maintain and get better and improve my position over the years. And hopefully, eventually, I will be able to be putting stuff aside if I'm not already, which is none of your business if I am or not. Um, but like I said, definitely with what I've seen, <clears throat> it seems like no matter what I do on YouTube, I know that I have a fan base. DSP cult leader. So yeah, it is. It's a cult. It's 100% this is a cult. Right? It doesn't matter if we're playing a video game, if I'm doing a podcast where I'm ranting about a topic or talking about news or whatever, if I'm doing React style content now, which has now become a part of my repertoire, or if we're just kind of chilling and doing Q&A. Like, no matter what I'm doing, I've got a fan base, and that fan base likes me and likes my content and supports it. So, even though you might argue, okay, well, you're 41, you're getting older, well, how long will we be a YouTuber? Well, I don't have to be a gamer YouTuber. I could do anything on YouTube. In one way or another, I'll probably be working till I'm dead. And I've, I've kind of accepted that, that, that reality. Or another site, all the competition that's been popping up recently. I could do this, essentially, you know, my life, you know? And one day, of course, you always have that expectation that maybe one day I can retire and I'll have enough of a nest egg or whatever that I don't have to make daily content anymore. That would be great to be able to actually, you know, re retire a bit and spend time with my wife. But, you know, that's something to think about for the future. I'm only a few years removed from a bankruptcy. I've got to maintain the course. I've got to keep going, plugging away, keep doing the things better than I used to, right? And essentially get myself to a more financially feasible, healthy position. And once I'm there, right, and I get a credit that's built back up, maybe I can do some things with financing and stuff that'll make my life better. And once I get to that point, then you, 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 you know, you, you start thinking about, do I want to change it up? Do I not want to be a full-time gamer anymore? Do I want to diversify my time, do different kinds of content, reach out and do different collaborations and things? Right now is not the time for that. Right now things, you know, I got to maintain the course of what I'm doing. And I've already, you know, kind of struck out this year or, or uh, reached out this year with new content, um, trying something new with DSP Reacts, which is, you know, it's there. It's slow, but it's still existing and it is profitable. I feel like in time it will grow and get better. It's something that I have to get better at and find better content for over time, right? Um, but to me, it's just like, from what I, from what I'm, I, my perspective, I'm not like, oh well, I just have to quit YouTube. Like that's crazy. No, but potentially, like I've told you guys, I've enjoyed being my own boss for so long. I absolutely, positively, could be someone who continues to make content of some capacity forever. It just doesn't have to be a full-time capacity, right? Instead of being the guy who's here six days a week full-time playing video games and podcasting, I could be the guy who part-time is doing discussion shows and podcasting and current events and news discussions and maybe every once in a while casually dabbing in, dabbling in a video game here or there that I really enjoy, but it's not necessarily my full-time thing forever. You know what I'm saying? But again, you know, those those things, here's what I, what I found. If you are someone who can sit down at any point in your life and you can look and say, in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, here's my plan and I'm sticking to it, you are living a life of luxury. You are living a life of insulation. For the vast majority of my life, I have never known what was going to be happening in just a year or two, let alone five years, 10 years, 20 years. Take a look at my life. Just look back five years before today, right? How different and tumultuous my life was. Another five years. Another f Every five years, my life has completely changed. So how anyone has this crazy luxury of saying, I'm going to plot out my life and in 20 years, I'll have a 401k that's fully funded. I'll be able to retire nicely and not make YouTube videos and do that. That's a crazy luxury in life. Seriously. Like, you're lucky if you're able to do that. Be happy that your parents probably provided you with financial stability in your youth so you could get an education, you could go out and get a great job, and you could have a family right away and your stability and all that. A lot of people on this planet don't have that. I've never had that. 
in my entire life, I've never had that stability. It's always something fluctuating, uncertain, weird, and different. I didn't choose that life. That's the life that I stumbled into and the, the cards that I was dealt. And I'm just doing the best with what's handed to me. You understand? And I wish that I could tell you that, yes, I have a 20-year plan. That By the time I'm in my early 60s, I have a fully funded 401k and I could stop making YouTube videos entirely and right off into the sunset of retirement. It's not possible right now. Long term, yes, maybe. Right now, I'm just trying to get to the point where I'm stable every month, I'm paying all of my stuff, I'm not behind on anything, and I have enough flexibility so that something goes wrong, like my car breaks down or my fucking tire gets stolen, right? Or I get something breaks in the house or a piece of equipment breaks, I need to quickly replace it, then I have the flexibility to get to do that right away. Once I'm to that point, then you can look and say, oh, maybe now I have a little bit extra every month I can put aside for something, right? But I, right now, I wish I had, I'm not even to that point of just even Steven before I can start looking to say, oh, there's extra to put aside now. Do you understand? <clears throat> he gambles in WWE Champions gotcha games. I love spending my entire life's fortune on gotcha games. Every day, I'm clicking, I'm pulling, I can't wait for the big win, and there goes my life savings, and there goes my livelihood. All right, Justin Orlowski, enjoy your ban. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Because I'm not going to put up with bullshit slander like that. I'm serious. Literally, I just talk an entire podcast about my Zelda experience. He goes, oh, Phil doesn't enjoy Zelda at all. All right, goodbye. You want to spread misinformation, you can do it somewhere else. Not on my stream, thanks. Instead of being an asshole and saying falsehoods. That then people will believe and start talking junk. So I'm not going to put up with your bullshit anymore. Enjoy your ban. <clears throat> nice try, though. Because he didn't know that I was here. He didn't know that I had come back from the bathroom. And he's like, oh, I know. I'll say something when he's not here. <laughs> I'm so sly. Yeah, you're sly, all right. So good stuff. So far, I hope you guys are enjoying the game. And uh, next time around, it looks like we'll actually get into what would be considered the meat. As now we're exploring the world. Doing optional fights. Getting items, right? In general, that's much better. That's what I expect from Final Fantasy, and it seems like finally we got into that part of the game. So next time around, we head right into that, all right? Thank you all, everyone who was here today and watched the stream. Thank you. Anyone who supported the stream today, thank you. Until next time in a couple of days, peace out. See you then. This is one of the slowest streams I've had in ages. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>